The Massachusetts Fire District 14 dive team trained at Aggregate Quarry in Ashland. Divers, tenders, command, and support were on hand to assist the divers in reaching depths nearly 70 feet. Yeah, today we're uh, doing a day-long dive here at the Squarry in Ashland. It'll give the team a chance to um, get two dives in. For a diver, the uh, depth level is about 60 to 70 feet deep, and it'll give them a chance to uh, see who some of our deep water divers are. And some of them might be uh, more comfortable in shallow water. And um, we've got uh, divers here. We have support teams, uh, dive tenders. Uh, we have a, a safety officer, incident commander, operations officers, uh, myself and another fellow uh, checking every diver in before they go into water. We go through all their equipment to make sure that everything's, uh, that they have all the equipment they need and it's all working properly. Up to now, we've been meeting every month for four hours and uh, we didn't meet last month. We decided to do it uh, this month for the eight-hour dive and right now they're, um, there's some discussion whether we'll keep up the eight hours every other month or four hours every month. Um, one interesting thing we did do uh, this past winter, we were in Framingham at a beach at Lonard Pond in February, and the guys did an um, a, a ice drill, uh, diving under ice. They went, it was set up a, a kind of triangle, they swam the three points and came back. The regional dive team is made up of several towns, including Framingham, Hudson, Ashland, Hopkinton, Northborough, Maynard, Natick, Sherborne, Weston, Lincoln, and Holliston. The uh, state's moving towards centralization of teams, and by having a uh, central team here, one it coordinates, um, it's easier to uh, bring out divers. If one town had an incident and they just started themselves and realized they needed assistance, you're losing a straight amount of time. This way, um, one person can call the Ashland Fire Department, which is the uh, uh, dispatch center for District 14. They'll get a call from the department saying the dive team's needed. He or she, dispatcher, can activate the team so divers then can immediately proceed to where they require you to go. In case the time we're going to, divers might be away or they might not be on duty, or um, it might be a team, uh, a community that doesn't even have any divers, so we're able to come in right away and commence the, the operation. For an individual fire department, for uh, Hopkinton, for example, we have a couple people that are trained to be divers. Um, you need more than that. You need to start off with about five divers to do a, some form of a rescue or recovery type of a dive. For a small town like that, it's just too much of a demand on the resources that we have. But if we do it with a regional approach and share with our neighbors, so we have um, divers that come from Ashland or Framingham, that we can deliver that, but it's not such an impact to a local community, uh, cost and manpower-wise. One of the goals of the day was to test the depth capabilities of each diver. These training drills tell us each diver's capabilities, whether he's a deep diver, uh, 60 feet plus, or if he's a shore-based diver, which is zero to 30 feet. 33 feet is one atmosphere. People who have trouble with their sinuses can't go below that first atmosphere. People that don't have sinus trouble. Uh, our deep depth is 100 feet, mainly because we only have 100 feet of calm rope. Each diver is gonna do two dives today one shore base dive, and then from shore base he'll go to a deep dive and see how deep he can get. Vinny Zanella of the Framingham Fire Department talked about his role for the day. He says it's six to seven feet, so he's got... Uh, today at this dive drill, District 14 dive drill, I'm dive team ops. We're running two simultaneous operations. One is a boat dive at a depth of 60 feet, and the other is a shore based um, sweep pattern that we're running with a diver, a backup diver, and a 90% diver for both dives. And we're trying to locate a couple of missing objects and see if these guys can find them. Uh, my responsibility is to report to the IC, incident commander, and keep all the divers and the boats in check and um, safe. And IC's job is to get me more resources than anything I need. Deputy Chief of the Hopkinton Fire Department, Stephen Slammon, talked about how the regional dive team has been used in Hopkinton. My name is Steve Slammon, I'm the Deputy Fire Chief for Hopkinton and I uh, help out as a uh, assistant for the uh, District Chiefs of District 14 to coordinate the dive team. So Hopkinton has a couple of members that are involved in this regional team and uh, today we're doing training that you probably talked to uh, with Pete about 
Uh, I'm representing uh, a simulation of an incident commander if they went into somebody's community, so I'm uh, representing the Ashland Fire Chief right now. And uh, we work on coordinating their operations with what they would do when they go to a local community who has an incident. So that's what we're training for. We've had two deployments so far this summer. I'd say that's probably an average year is probably something two to four type of uh, incidents for water rescue. And um, that's been over roughly six communities we've covered. We're in the process of spreading out and covering 22 towns in the, the whole district. That's kind of our vision for next year. We just brought in about 10 new divers from the northern part of the district, which would be like Hudson and Maynard and Weston and Lincoln and all in that area. So uh, we expect to have our um, deployment rate go up quite a bit. Mike Terosian of the Ashland Fire Department showed off the communication vehicle the dive team uses. So this is CAR 14. CAR 14 supports the district's communication needs at large incidents, whether it be a uh, big fire at a house or a dive uh, incident such as we're doing today or a technical rescue team because we have so many uh, firefighters coming in from different cities and towns, not everyone has the same frequency of radios. So what this here gives us all the different bands of radio and allows us to patch them together. The biggest uh, reason we do that is so everybody can hear the same communication at the same time. And communication is key on any incident. 